Hey guys, check out this cool game I'm playing on my phone. Wow, the guy in my team says that he wants to sell his account to me. Eh. What should I do? When G is so cheap, it's a good deal. You must buy it. Wait, guys, don't you remember what happened to me during the March holiday? Hmm. It was the March holidays, and I'm having so much fun chilling at home playing on my computer. I was carefree. It was the best time of my life. What could go wrong? It happened during an intense moment in my game as I was busy being a hero in the game. A notification suddenly appeared stating that someone was interested in selling his or her gaming account. Oh, what is this? Wait, let me see. Hmm. I studied the notification and saw that the account was being sold at a low price. I thought that this would be my golden chance to show my friends that I am an excellent gamer. With this account, I could level up quickly and easily. Then they would stop calling me a noob. If I get this account, I won't be called a noob anymore. decided to send a text message to the seller to ask for more details. The reply came swiftly and the seller assured me that this would be the best deal online and it was 100% safe. I really wanted the game account so I quickly asked the seller for more information. The seller wanted me to make a bank transfer. I definitely didn't have enough money in my account. And as my parents were both asleep, I decided to borrow my mother's bank account. I mean, what's wrong with that? I'm sure she wouldn't mind. I'm the apple of eye. Easy peasy. An hour later, I was, of course, still gaming. I didn't know that my mother was awake and in the kitchen. That's the start of my problem. Brian! What? Brian Teo! What? I'm playing game, cannot see ya! A game is not as important, but what's important is I have received a message from the bank saying that $99.99 have been transferred to an account I don't even recognize. What exactly do you do? Uh, it's a mobile legend transfer. Do you think it's cheap? Yes, it's quite cheap for a game of she started questioning me. I felt guilty and worried at the same time. So I confessed to her. My beautiful and intelligent mother immediately called the bank and requested them to stop the transaction. What a smart thing to do, right? The bank said that they had managed to stop the payment from being made to the seller. Boy, I was relieved. However, a few hours later, something terrible happened. My beloved mother's phone was bombarded by text messages from the bank. Brian? Yes? Can you explain? Oh, I only made one transaction, what? But why had they more than one? Did you call the bank and ask? Yeah, a few, just an hour ago. Then how? They are trying their best to stop. Then what should we do now? I think it's better to make a police report. Okay, let's go.